gonna start on the roof. So this is all the rough cut lumber I got from um, some uh, local Amish uh, so so Sawyer, saw guy. So I believe there's 30, 36 or 38 12 foot or 12 foot plus two by sixes. And that'll be the decking. And this is the rest of the load. And um, we're going to go with 17 foot two by eights for the rafters. So this was cut like fresh um, for me. So it uh, is only a few days old. Pretty heavy load on my truck, but we got it all up here um, without any problems. And uh, I'm about to decide if I'm going to do like a bird mouth cut on all of these. Um, the book says that you can do it either way. He tends not to and just shims that, uh, that space that um, is created when you put the rafter on there. I'm going to see if I'm going to bird bird mouth cut them. I guess once I do one, I'm going to pretty much do them all because it's not like I have uh, extra wood laying around. So I'm going to nail some two by fours. <coughs> Proud of the, the first wall there and this back wall and then butt the rafter up to it uh, and trace that line. Actually, I probably should do all three because otherwise it's going to sag and not get me a, a right measurement there. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to bird mouth cut them is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do it and see. Hopefully I can cut one and then make a jig and then cut them all the same. But um, it's probably not going to work because, um, you know, that stuff never does. But uh, we'll see. We're going to try it out and see what we get. Okay, you can see I just nailed in some scab wood here on the uh, corners, on the fronts. And then I lifted this board up and marked that triangle that's created when the board touches there and goes across here. That triangle is that bird mouth cut. So I got that marked on this first rafter. I'm going to cut that out. I'm just going to use a, a sawzall. I was going to use a jigsaw, but it, it looks like uh, my jigsaw blades really aren't that long. So I'm going to see if this sawzall works. Um, it's battery powered anyway, so I don't have to run a cord and stuff. We'll see how uh, good a job it does. I should have brought my tools from uh, back at, well, my in-laws. It's not my home anymore. This is my home, but uh, my work truck is there. And I usually use, I did a video on the DeWalt FlexVolt. So I'm, I'm stuck using my Makita and Bosch older stuff. And uh, it is not anywhere near as uh, powerful as you could kind of hear there. So we're pretty much pot committed now. Um, I'm going to do this one. All three of the, the cuts. Then I'm going to throw it up there. And then I'm just going to slide that board all the way down. And see if it works um, the entire length. And if it does, then I'm just going to use this board as a jig for the rest of the rafters. That's what we end up with. That way it's nice and flat on that bearing spot. And then what I'm going to do is take a really long timber screw, 10 inches, and um, I'm going to uh, do a spade bit router out just to recess a little pocket here and then drill that screw all the way through into here on every single one of these and uh, that'll hold that in place 
So I'm coming back the same distance on every one, which is 26 and a quarter, and then flushing this up and just coming up one inch, making that line. And then I'm putting a line up here on the front of this board and then connecting that line to this line with a straight edge for that bird mouth cut. So I'm taking a spade bit and just recessing uh, a hole a little bit to get this 10 inch timber screw because um, it'll only go in about two and a half inches so I'm dropping it down another inch and then uh, this will be recessed to the head of it so the decking can go over the top. So each rafter will get three screws. So you can see how stable that is once the decking's on top, that ain't gonna move at all. Let's go swimming, Capone. Let's go swimming. Oh, that's good boy. Got your little pool. Just deep enough. Get a good boy. Good boy. Now go get dirty. Oh yeah, rub the funk. So I'm putting the uh, decking on. I've measured a uh, 12 and a quarter inches back from the edge because these cuts at the end um, are on an angle because it was probably from a chainsaw or whatever when they cut the tree down. Um, once I get all the boards on here, I'll snap a line and make it uh, 12 inches overhang of this last rafter. So it'll work out where when I cut it, um, everything will be flush. But what I'm running into is that the boards are, you know, um, warped a little bit. So what I'm doing is taking a three and a half inch screw. I've decided to screw um, into every board and every and alternate the screws so it'll be a screw and a three and a half inch nail three and a half inch screw three and a half inch nail and they'll alternate that way I'm saving on some of my stuff I wish I could screw the whole thing up but I think I'm gonna run out of screws plus it really doesn't matter um, because there's gonna be earth on top of this and it's not like this thing is raising up at all so um, that's not such a big deal, but I do need screws because some of these rafters, or one in particular, is a little bit lower than all the other ones. So I'm taking these clamps and I've put a board because they're not, you know, obviously long enough to get all the way to the end. So I'll have to adjust this board as I go, but I can clamp these boards tight. And then I can run my screw in here. 
to uh, hold hold it there. So they'll all be tight and they're gonna dry and there'll probably end up being a, a bit of a gap, but I don't have time to let all these boards dry. So I think this is gonna be fine. Plus I'm not too worried about it because there's gonna be, um, on top of this, there's going to be a uh, rubber uh, sticky membrane. And then on top of that, there's gonna be foam. On top of that, there's going to be plastic. Um, but what I mean is when you're underneath and look up, You'll just see black in the crack, so it's not a big deal, and it's not like anything's going to. Um, it's not going to be a super illuminated anything. room where you're going to see. Yeah, going to be rather dark anyway. But I do want to get it as tight as possible and uh, keep these boards straight. We almost have the decking done, and it looks like I have exactly the right amount of boards. I have one board left that uh, is just going to be short of covering these rafters. So I'm gonna cut these back so there's about an inch and a half of overlap. The decking overlaps the rafters an inch and a half. And then I'm gonna um, take the level and mark that cut level so the rafter is straight up and down. That way there's less likely to uh, for the water to drip on that rafter. So I get that gap out of there and then I'll put my screw in. And it's been working pretty well. I think it's most of the play out and they're all pretty tight. You guys found a nice spot. Less bugs, out of the sun, cool concrete. Okay, so I've snapped the line and, and gave myself uh, a 12 inch overhang. And then uh, just cut that all off with the skill saw on both sides. And now I'm starting to install the drip edge. Starting from the bottom first and then just working my way up the sides. Layering them like, a, like shingles. So they only go 12 feet. So I had to cut this piece. And then the final one will be the top edge. And all the decking is screwed and nailed down. Drip edge is down. I'm ready for the uh, next step, which the next layer is going to be a like a rubber sticky um, material called uh, System 4000, or I believe the stuff I have is System 3000. But before I do that, I think I'm going to let these um, air dry a little bit, all this, this decking. Um, I'm going to come back next week and uh, see. Obviously, it's going to dry out pretty good because the air is getting underneath and above and a little sun too. So, but when I put a nail or a screw in this, you, you see, you know, moisture oozing out. So I think uh, instead of covering this up with a weatherproof membrane and uh, blocking it from drying from above and the sun, I think uh, I'll give it a week to uh, dry out a little bit um, and see how it does then.